welcome back to my channel ash cash beauty we are going to jump right in with this nice soft glam this product that you just saw it's going to be my mario i would not dare butcher his last name refreshing spray um it's going to be a facial spray made of aloe chamomile and lavender next i'm going to take one of my bh cosmetics fluffy um, powder brush just to kind of you know get that spray inside of the skin next I'm going to take my black opal natural light powder to uh, place that over my brows because this does help control the oil um, throughout the day on my brows because honey we already know next I will be taking my super slim point fine absolute New York eyebrow pencil i love this pencil this is a holy grail of mine um i will be tracing my eyebrows out uh the brows make the face ladies and gentlemen i do have to say that so myself yes she do the brows make the face <sighs> it's the brows for me <laughs> So yeah, next y'all just see me kind of going in with that same pencil. I like for my tail to be very nice and sharp and just a little dark. Next, I will be going in with my LA Girl Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. Um, this product I love. And I will be using my Elf Angle um, brush to fill in with this product. This product is very nice and silky and easy to blend um it does dry fairly quickly so you do have to kind of move at a certain pace when you're using this product um but it is very nice and light for the eyebrows next i will be going in with another all-time favorite it's going to be my la girl pro concealers i mix two colors together it's going to be the colors dark cocoa and toast I use um, both of those colors for the top and the bottom um, of my brows while um, when cleaning them up. Uh, like I said, it's the brows for me. So yeah, we're going to just use that to clean um, both. Can't do one eyebrow without the other. <laughs> Duh. Clean up both eyebrows, the top and the bottom. And you really, um, I, that I never squeezed anymore. That what you saw put on, um, I had on my hand earlier, I had enough for both the top and the bottom to clean up my brows. Um, yeah, and so you just really want to make sure that they're very nice and precise and clean, sharp, and shaped like to the face. Next, I'm going to go in with that spoolie at the end of that brow pencil. And I'm going to give myself that ombre look. It's so many names for this look, but yeah, you get my drift. Next, I'll be going with a brush that I got out of my Ipsy bag um, about a year ago. And I'll be using that to blend. I forgot to tell y'all, but I will be going in with the Warm Honey LA Girl Pro Concealer from my eyeshadow primer. And I will also be going in with this natural or neutral color as well. It's a very bright, bright color. Yes, I know. But I'll be mixing those two together um, because they will help my eyeshadow pop goes the weasel. Yep, and I'm going to take that same brush that I blended my eyebrows out with, and I'm going to blend this um, eyeshadow primer out with to get a very nice, smooth, gradient look. Keep on blending, honey. It's never too much. You can never blend too much. Like I said, you can never blend too much. I do drag that uh, concealer under my eye. As you can see, I am still blending. But I drag that under my eye because it does help with fallout um, from my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to go back in with that black open neutral um, translucent powder to set that concealer, baby girl. Because I do got oily eyelids, so this really helps tone that oil down. And I'm going to also take that um, brush and I'm going to just dab my eyebrows over to, you know, just make them look very nice and clean. 
yes ma'am i am going in with she miss jacqueline hills um one of her mini palettes in bling boss i will be starting off with that color hush hush um in my crease area or i should say for my transition um shade yes honey hush hush it is very nice light pink so you will see me go over um this area multiple times with this same color because she is very nice and light next i'm gonna go in with miss rockstar herself honey with this nice dark i'm not gonna say dark but mm, eggplant almost eggplant purple <laughs> um i'm gonna go right in the crease with her honey because we want her to go boop I forgot to show y'all the brushes that I was using, but the brush is also going to be coming out that uh, BH Cosmetics uh, brush set that I got. Rose gold set. Very inexpensive. I will link it below. I forgot the last time, but I will. Like I said, that's that hush hush. I'm going back over to tone Miss Rockstar down because she partying like a rock star. Next, I'm going to use that um, MAC primer in the shade soft orchard or ochre or however y'all pronounce that um i'm gonna put her slap dead on my eyelid because i want this shimmer eyeliner to go i'm sorry shimmer eyeshadow to go whoop whoop and i also going to go in with this juvia's place the warrior two palette i'm gonna go in um on the outer lid of my eyelids with this um i'm actually gonna be mixing two colors i'm not gonna butcher these names as well um all right i will just for y'all kufaru and um you do it yeah you do it with kufaru so i did it with kufaru and i'm also gonna take uh that dark color in that palette as well uh wazuana i'm gonna take her and i'm gonna blend all three of those together then I'm going to go back into Miss Jacqueline Hill, and I'm going to dip my brush into that Glitz and Glam and that Bossy. Those uh, those are two shimmer shades that I mixed together um, because I just wanted to see, you know, what, where it was going to take me. So I mixed those two together, and honestly, it took me down the right path because, as you can see, Glitz and Glam and Bossy, they coming through, baby. Just look at them. Mm -hmm. Also, that is going to be my um uh, C brush in uh, from ELF. It's a very nice eyeshadow brush. Picks up a uh, shimmer eyeshadow very well. And then I'm going back in with that rock star shade um, to, you know, give her a little bit, you know, a little bit more depth in the crease. Then I'm going back in again with Miss Walzella. You know, basically, I'm just kind of building my colors, as you should. You know, you build them to your light, even though she's soft. But, you know, we still want her to be a little glamorous, you know. Next, I'll be going in with another Jaclyn Hill palette. As you can see, this is my baby boo, the, the Ring the Alarm palette. And I'm going to use uh, the color Secret in that palette for my um, eyeliner, actually, because, like I said, she is a soft glam. So I didn't want to use any black eyeliner today, which I do love black eyeliner. I cannot front. But like I said, she's going to be soft today. She's going to be, you know. She's going to be on the classy side. Yeah, so I'm just going to continue to, you know, build my eyeshadow up and, huh, you know. Next, my favorite part, the lashes. Um, Those are butterfly lashes from Pieces by Pisces, which I will link below as well. And I will be using my favorite glue, hair glue. Yes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, honey. I put it on there and I let it dry. Now, for the purpose of this video, it does look like I am going automatically in with from the glue to putting the lash on my eye but in reality i honestly didn't i did both lashes i put glue on both lashes and i let them dry for a minute or so before i began to place them on my eyes because i wanted the glue to get a little tacky and um it's it helps as you're putting the lash on and it dries you know 
a lot quicker and you don't have to worry about glue gluing your eye together girlfriend because you know that can't happen when you're using you know this hair glue whole eye be glued shut but we're we don't glue down eyelids over here so we glue down eyelashes and that's about it yes so that's my case on that Next, I'm going to be using my um, Ultra Repair Cream. Um, this is going to be one of my favorite moisturizers. That little one dot, as y'all see, went over my whole natural, beautiful face. Or, I ain't going to say natural right now because I got on some false eyelashes. But, anywho, yeah, I like this um, moisturizer because it does exactly what it says. It is for parched skin. Now, although I have oily skin, but it is very good. For all types of skin. And just because I got oily skin does not mean I'm not going to moisturize, baby girl. Next, I'm going to go in with my Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. This right here is going to build a barrier between my face and my foundation. And it's also going to help my foundation last all day. Because I don't need her dripping off in the middle of the day when I'm trying to be cute. Okay? I want her to stay in place. My makeup needs to stay in place. She need to be where she at. She need to sit down somewhere. Be cute, honey. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to blend that oh so effortlessly into the skin. And next, I'm going to go in with my Jackie on a baby girl trick. I'm going to take that Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I'm going to set that face primer that you just seen me put on. Yes, Miss Jackie Anna, thank you so much for this trick, baby, because I live in deep south Georgia, and this trick right here saves the day each and every day and each and every time yes you put powder on your face before you put your foundation on and baby girl your foundation will be set in stone next i'm going in with miss fenty beauty aka miss rihanna my shade is 450 and like i said it's going to be a soft nice glam look and this is going to be a soft nice light mattifying foundation and also, when you put that powder on after you just set your primer, um, this helps so you won't have to use as much foundation as well. Next, I'm going to go in with um, my e.l.f. Uh, foundation brush. I like this brush because it literally just makes the foundation goes into the skin. But before I do that, I will be taking my Matte Fix Plus spray that you just saw. And I spray my brush with that. And then now, I'm going in to blend, baby. Blend your life the way. Mm-hmm. Yup. Keep on blending, sister. Uh-huh. I mean, blend, honey. Forehead, too. Yup. Hairline as well. Keep on going, sister. And then, guess what? I'm going to take my... Uh, fix plus spray again and then i'm going to spray my whole entire face because it just kind of after i done did all that you know to the face it just kind of helps refresh the face again and guess what blend away again next i'm going to be going in with my 24 hour max studio fix plus concealer oh god i don't talk about max studio fix plus concealer i meant max studio fix concealer there ain't no plus on it <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to go under my eyes with this. I like this concealer because it does not move um, at all once you blend it out. Sister girl, stay where she's supposed to be, honey. I got the corner of my lips just to kind of color correct. Next, I will be also going in with that LA Girl Concealer Pro um, Concealer in Fun. Yes, I know I just messed that name up. I said concealer about nine times, but that's going to be the color Fun directly right under my eye and i do that just to brighten you know my eyes up because that's how i want my eyes to look then i will be going in with my um flawless concealer brush by elf to blend sister girl out honey because we got to blend her out we want to look awake awoke we are woke and will be woke or however y'all want to say that but we waking her up you know, we waking that under eye up. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Now, girl, don't try it. You know I even do that. 
But what I am going to do is blend this eye out. And I'm going to blend her out. And I'm going to keep blending her out. And then I'm going to take another clean F brush, um, foundation brush. And I'm going to get that harsh line away. And I'm going to blend Sister Girl smoothly right on out. Because she just, she need to lay flat. Mm-hmm. She can't be about to jump off the porch. Or my face. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my foundation brush and go back in. And I'm going to blend everything together. That way I can get one floss look. Everything is going to just blend flawlessly together. Like I said, we're going to keep on blending. Yes, that is the same brush that I use to blend my foundation out. Yep, I'm going up under my eye. I didn't go all the way up under my eye, but I don't want any harsh lines. So, I'm blending everything, girl. I like to do my nose and my forehead kind of last because I don't do a lot to this to these areas and the concealer can dry kind of fast. So I kind of typically do those last and then blend those out. Yep. We're gonna blend my nose out. No. We want her to be snatched today. And then I'm going to go back in with that Laura Mercier powder. And I'm going to begin to set under my eyes. Yes, I said set, not bake. I ain't baking today. She's soft today. We don't want no, who? She got on highlighter today. Look, you know, we want to look flawless, effortlessly. So I'm not baking. I'm setting. And I'm setting everything. And, and when I mean by setting, I'm putting it on and I'm sweeping it right on off. I'm setting what I laid down. Set the foundation. Then I'll be going in with my Elf Fluffy Powder Brush. I believe that's what it's called. I don't think that's what it's called. It is a pointed powder brush. Sorry. And then that's going to be a, a Ipsy brush that I got a long time ago. It's a Lexington brush. And I use that out of my eyes, and I use that pointed powder brush, and I'm going to uh, continue to set the rest of my my face, and I'm going to just blend everything together. And then I'm going to jump back again into that Juvia Place uh, Warrior uh, 2 palette, and we're going to bronze up the face a little bit, okay? I don't like to contour, like with cream contour. Like I said, I live in South Georgia, and all that cream, baby girl... Mm -mm. It's not good for the face because I ain't trying to melt away. Excuse me for my little outbreak, you know. But she going away. She going away. But yeah, we just going to bronze up the face um, with those two colors, actually, that I used on my eyes for eyeshadow. Yep, I went back in to blend everything out one more time. Put a little bit more powder on. You know, I just kind of hit the spots that I think it needed to be hit. Then I'm going back in one more time <laughs> with that Warrior 2 Juvia's Place palette in the color uh, Dowry. And I'm going to use that for my blush. That's going to be that baby girl pink you see. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a blush girl, but today I was like, hmm, what the heck. And then I'm going to go back in with Miss Jaclyn Hill under my eye line. And I'm going to go in with Miss Rockstar. And you know, I'm just going to use her for my eyeliner because like I said it's soft I don't want any black today no black eyeliner today but I really like that rock star color under my um for my under eyelid because she is popping or whatever then I'm gonna go in with this little Tetris palette that I got highlight palette that I got in my Ipsy bag yes I did um, the game away and it's in the shade block party <clears throat> and I'm gonna hit my inner tear ducts with those honey because voila magic we do want to be awoke look into the light Carolyn um I didn't show y'all in this video but I'm going in with one of my all-time favorites <laughs> a very inexpensive highlighter my wet and wild highlighter that I picked up from Walmart in the shade crown my canopy very very nice light and silky like you see she she ain't blind y'all she just kind of she just kind of was like hey 
Then I'm gonna go back in with my um eyebrow pencil one more time just to kind of, you know, touch it up a little bit because as I did set them with the powder, um the brows can kind of go away a little bit or fade away. Then I'm gonna take my nice fun new Tarte Lights Camera Action Mascara, baby girl. They came through for this packaging for Pride Month. Yes, they did. Um, yes, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go under my uh, use this for my bottom eyelashes. This really wakes up the eyes, ladies. Like, it literally, once you put your um, mascara on them bottom eyelashes, boo boo, baby girl. Good morning. Then lastly, for the lips, I am going in with my um, Beauty Supply Nick K Lip Pencil. I'm going to line those lips right on up. Sure is. And then I'm going in with another Ipsy, or two Ipsy products that I got in my Ipsy bag. One is going to be a nice pink um, liquid lipstick. I do not have a name for that because it just came off. And then the other one is going to be um, my Trust Fund Beauty lip gloss in blame game um but we ain't blaming nobody for this look honey because she keep too cute to poop yeah very nice soft and i'm gonna finish this overall look with my urban decay d slick d slick makeup setting spray i know y'all think i can't talk and this spray i love this spray i've been using this spray for years it is a all control spray and i almost drown myself but let me tell you something my makeup ain't going no way if i do drown <laughs> so yes get into the look thank you ladies once again for and i'm sorry ladies and gentlemen once again for tuning in to ash cash beauty baby get into this look this soft glam look see you guys later bye